also saying before that you're worried. Mm-hmm. You don't like to see people sick. You don't like to see people who are injured or suffering. No, I agree. I'm with you on that. You know, it's that's not how we were meant to be. We were meant to enjoy life. We were meant to live. Right? We were meant to love the flowers and our family and sometimes now right exactly some people can't even be with their families to protect themselves it must be very very difficult for those people even adults right exactly parents children listen i'm still a child i still have parents and my parents are elderly and i'm definitely worried about them am i scared hmm I'm not really scared, to be honest with you, because I'm doing all the things that you were describing with social distancing and washing my hands and doing all those very, very important things to protect myself and to protect others. I mean, I have to be honest with you, I am a little bit nervous every once in a while if I do have to go outside. You know, you never know what can happen. But then again, I don't really want to live my life being scared because you know what? Once you live with fear... Uh, then it grips you. You stop living. Oh, yeah, you're, you're breathing. You're awake. You're aware. But you're not really living. And we can't really live with fear. And as difficult as these times are, exactly what you and I talked about before, we have to try to make it as normal as possible. It isn't really normal right now, but it will eventually get back to being the way it was. And you know what? Before you know it, you know, spring is already in the, in the air. Things are going to be in full bloom. The world is going to look beautiful again. And you know what? Before you know it, people will be much healthier. People will be happy again that this is behind them. But we're going to learn. We definitely are going to learn a lot from this situation, what happened with the coronavirus and how to better handle it in the future. And you know what? We all, we all play a part in it. And we all tried to handle it the best way that we could. And so many heroes, Daisy, have arisen from this. I mean, you know, you got your nurses, your medical technicians, your doctors, your scientists. And you and I, oh man, we're going to read about one of the great heroes of all time. Oh yeah, a lot of people don't know him, but his name is Edward Jenner. Oh, I'm not going to tell you about it right now. We're going to read it together. You excited about that? Yeah? All right. Well, let's get to it.